Jai Jinendra and Omaram to everyone. What a fantastic session. The wisdom which one has gained over a period of 40 years has been explained to us very easily, easily digestible in less than two hours. I don't think there would be any institute on this earth which can transfer this amount of knowledge in such a short period of time. Our sincere thanks to Dr. Sancheti. I was thinking, as a ritual, we always thank somebody, but I don't think we have enough words or feelings to express our thankfulness to him. He's part of this organization. As an annual lecture, he always comes, and I would request, let it be a bit more frequent, maybe a quarterly, every quarter. I think that responsibility <laughs> lies with you. <coughs> he started with one very strong statement, and I would like to speak that out. He said, the first and the fundamental thing is Shraddha, belief, rituals, sanskar. I think everything boils down to these four simple things. Once we start talking about these things, once we start thinking about these four fundamental aspects, I think that would be the biggest and the fastest beginning of the journey of having a mental peace. The second very important thing which we have, uh, I have really experienced is he made me understand the difference between experiment and experience. The, the younger generation, they believe more in experiment. They want a logical proof. We perhaps, I mean, I, I consider myself a bit old just for my gray hairs, but we follow more on experience, what has been told by our elders, right? And I, I always remember in every event function, it's always been told the kids should not come, kids make a lot of noise. But I think it's a very important thing that the kids should come, let them make the noise, let them see for themselves. They will make noise once, they will make noise ten times, but for rest of their life, they are making their own life. So make sure that next time we come, we encourage our kids to come. We don't have any problem. Let them shout. Let them make noise. Let them. But that is the only way they will learn our culture. They, that is the only way they will learn our sanskars. Right. In meditation, I think uh, the excellent testimonials are there with us. So I would like to spend a bit more time with you to understand how it is to be done. I think everybody in uh, in their life, in their uh, wider circle have got people who have, who have been experiencing a lot of pain, a uh, lot of uh, terminal diseases. So if we can learn something out of your experience, I think it would be a great advantage to us. Another thing which, uh, uh, which has really touched me was the experiment on fasting. Uh, he also explained, I mean, by default, every religion talks about fasting. So uh, whether it is Christianity, I mean, uh, it was it was a shock for me to know, but one of the basic fundamental forum of Christianity is fasting. In fact, uh, this this happened when I was uh, trying to coach few students, and they were British students, Christian students, and I said, "What is that you are uh, doing for your soul?" He said, "For one year, I'm not going to eat this." I said, "Why?" It's a religious belief. That's how it happens, right? I mean, in Muslims also they do. Of course, the timing is different. The reasons might be different. But as he rightly explained, and which I will definitely not forget for the rest of my life, is food is not the thing to, to for the body to work. There are many other things in body. In fact, we always try to overeat. And it was only last week I was just trying to calculate. I mean, uh, the Marwadi is dal bati and ghee and all that. So I was trying to calculate the number of calories which I intake every day. Probably it's more than 10 times than what I the body needs. So thank you very much for uh, uh, educating on all this, sir. I would request uh, our president and trustee, Mr. Hasmay Vora, to kindly honor Dr. Sancheti with a small moment though. Thank you very much. It was a lovely presentation. Thanks. We all appreciate your time spent, valuable time spent, especially on the centenary of China. In fact, today I spoke to Vrindavan.
Umarım. 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 Umarım.